It's me, Mauricio Martinez. 
Welcome to Bryant Park Picnic Performances. Some of you may know me from the hit Broadway show On Your Feet, where I played Emilio Estefan. As the arts return to New York City, I am excited to see shows again and return to the rehearsal room to create new work. Thank you to Bank of America for their support of the Picnic Performance livestream. Bank of America believes in the power of the arts, and with their help, this performance and many others this season can be streamed by art lovers everywhere for free. This season, Bryant Park has invited cultural institutions across New York City to use the stage to do what they do best, perform live. From Classical Theater of Harlem to New York Chinese Cultural Center to Carnegie Hall, you can experience a wide range of this city's world-class performing arts. Without further ado, I would like to welcome New York City Opera to tell us more about tonight's festivities. also our largest. Uh, we are always honored to be here in Bryant Park, but now more than ever to see such a large crowd to be performing live in person. Live theater is back in New York and it's with us. And thank you. We thank Dan Fishman and his staff at Bryant Park for making this possible, Bank of America for helping us with the stream, and most of all we thank you, the public, because without you, there is no New York City up. Hello? In that regard, if you are uh, so inclined, you can text NICO to 44321 to make a donation if you are interested. Every amount is very, very much appreciated and necessary in order to help us bring you these extraordinary performances. Without any further delay, I thank you. I welcome you. Rigoletto by Giuseppe Verdi. Enjoy, everybody. Monterone emerged this way to watch again. My sweet revenge take hold upon a degenerate duke and his puppet jester, sneering Rigoletto. I tell you, my joy was robbed with my life. My comfort, my sacred honor, all gone, destroyed by one lascivious glance from this lustful Entitled salacious Jude. There, there he is. Ladies, hide your faces, cover your charms, veil yourselves as tightly as a sheikh's courtesan, for this monster will rot your life with the curse of Mantua. <laughs> Ma 
mari sono a poi fare il ritorno, intorno mi vedo, il mio cuore di vero non c'è, la bella luna che è l'altra vento, la costoro apparenza e quel d'oro, di che fa tuore in fiore la vita, su di questo mi torna la vita, forse un'altra, forse un'altra, domanda sarà una. La costanza ti roga le cuore e ti stiamo che il morbo, quel morbo crudele, se ti vuole si sa rifedele e non va a morire, se non ve li verrà, e te mariti veloso furore, e le amanti le smani e adorino. Let me speak. I shall. I, Monterone, my voice like God's thunder shall make you quake wherever you may hide. I shall disrupt your orgies as long as this vile insult to my family's honor remains unpunished. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you pardoned me, Duke, yes. I prayed to God to bless you. But beneath your pardon, you hid my shame. You did with sinful caresses in your bed the tomb of woman's virtue. Defile and degrade my dearest treasure, my love, my life, my only daughter. Put me to death. Let my fate be the grave and not honorless shame, degradation. And when you present me to your headsman, I shall haunt you as a deadly specter, crying out to God and man for vengeance. You are a coward, my duke, to unleash these frothing hounds on a dying lion. It's done. All is finished except for this, my curse on you. My eternal curse on you, your court, and your sinful city. And you, deformed villain with viper's tongue, my curse on thee eternally, you serpent. There is no dark hole deep enough to protect you from this father's murderous, deep, and complete vendetta. But my curse was an arrow shot or far. It missed my target, but hit his minion. The Duke slept soundly that horrible night. But Rigoletto was struck dumb with fear. He wandered the streets, muttering madness. Then, in an instant, he met his future. It came in the form of a dread figure. Quel vecchio maledì Tanto sei puro bravo, solo in 
his counterpart. This vile assassin has secrets to keep. Then again, so does this bitter jester. They are more like twin brothers than we know. The assassin's secrets we can presume. The jester's cloistered prize is revealed now. Io la lingua e gli ha il pugnale, l'uomo saria terribile, e quel che spende. Bye. 
mangio quel vecchio valle di Al pensiero perché con Torvarior la mente mia mi coglie la sventura. Anna e fa lei.
dog does not return to his sottish master as craven and crawling. But as the fool slips out the guarded door, a handsome young swain enters the garden. Oh, 
has her own secret. My death curse takes hold and will soon strangle this viper as his words choke the courtiers. Oh, heavenly bliss, see how the girl is beguiled by the unquenched lust of this duke. And soon the motley fool will hurl himself down a pit deeper than words can conjure.
Rigoletto returns, the Duke retreats, my curse still ringing through the jester's mind. He turns a dark corner and is accosted. The voice of Borsa, courtier to the Duke, purrs in his fevered ear, beckoning him. We have come to kidnap Ciprano's wife. Join us, he coos. Yes, join us, say the rest, pretending friendship. They mean to mock him most monstrously. Sure, his mind will run mad. Ciprano's woman is not their target. The maiden who resides with the jester is the object of their sinister plot. They think the girl his slattern mistress. They'd never dream a more precious jewel is encased in Rigoletto's snug house. His beloved daughter, so much dearer and a much higher prize than mere mistress. After this loss, the fool will be completely destroyed. They all put on masks, Rigoletto too, as if he were one of their dear brothers, the effect of which, combined with the night, makes the jester's sight severely impaired. He walks where the courtiers tell him to go, and that is straight beneath his own window. He holds the ladder while Gilda is taken. <laughs> she is stripped 
bundled and carried away. And when he learns of this device, she's gone, transported to the Duke's palace. But soon, the Duke returns to resume his tryst. Illicit sinner, hot lust makes his blood rise. <laughs> but he finds torn rags, once her gown, her blessed virgin medal on the ground, and signs that some villains had kidnapped her. He returns to the palace in a rage.
This sad soliloquy is disrupted by entrance of the courtiers, out of breath. Guess our news, the courtiers cry together. They tell the bloat duke of the abduction, the capture of Rigoletto's treasure. <laughs> His mistress, unwrapped, wanton, and waiting, all ready for their lord's lustful pleasure. But as these wild dogs describe their quarry, her raven tresses, her delicate skin, a face of such beauty a priest would weep. The prince realizes their prey is his prize. He leaps from his chair, runs to consummate, followed by the hollow cheers of his men. Just then, Rigoletto returns, forlorn. He knows that Gilda is lost to him. He cannot save the one person who gives his life meaning. She will be doomed to a life of shame, condemned to horrible sin, mocked in a way much worse than a jester. Desperate, Rigoletto forgets himself, curses the courtiers, then on his knees pleads to them. Sì, la mia figlia, dona tal vittoria, che adesso non ridete, e la la, la voglio, la renderete. Ridate a me, 
pietà. Pietà, signori, pietà, signori, pietà. destroyed. He humbly prostrates himself before his foes. As this happens, Gilda enters in tears. The jester gathers what strength he can get, demands the fustian courtiers be gone. This leaves the fool alone with his daughter. Oh, 
Por quanto a fari mi resta, lasciare potremo questa ora funesta. E tutto sol giorno cangiare I curse thee, you wanton evil sinner. There is no thunder from heaven to strike thee. Your lecherous pleasures can continue. No, zecchio t'inganni, un vinice avrai, si, tenenta, 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 Anima solo de mio, mi può dirti già l'ora cosa aspetta, che fa male per le tue nella, con me fuori in scagliato da Dio, con me fuori in scagliato da Dio, Oh, <laughs> 
we now move. The ancient river from Lake Garda flows to Po, my country's mightiest river, and the one which carries our history away to the Adriatic Sea, there to be discharged and forgotten forever. Mantua's river holds many secrets that would shock its innocent citizens. Debts have been paid and submerged in its deep, dark waters. Feuds have been settled. Wrongs in the eyes of some men have been righted. The souls of many transgressors are buried in the muddy waters of Mincio. And now the jester plots to contribute one more soul to the river's sad roster. And here he comes, our ruffish duke, disguised in officer's clothes, a crude cavalier. He comes to conquer a prize promised him by Sparafucile, the foul assassin. His sister, Madalena, a stunning and beautiful conquest for this false duke. As this seduction is staged, fool father will force his dear daughter to watch this swain profess false affections to another lass, proving Rigoletto's words to be true. Yeah. 
The proof of her beloved's villainy is now clear. Gilda must suffer this truth. Her father, the hate-filled jester, commands her to go home, don man's attire, escape to Verona. He will soon meet her there. She obeys. Now the jester is free to complete his righteous plot of vengeance. Sparafucile emerges from Vale of Night. The jester pays him half the killer's fee. The plan is set, and the two men now part. They meet at midnight, when deed be done.
innocence. Oft hast thou been punished when prideful evil is allowed to thrive. And it is so I say in my sad tale. Stadafuchile emerges with leaden sack, a tragic cargo for cheated father. Rigoletto pays the balance to him. His revenge completed, the jester rejoices. And here, my curse proves most disappointed. My primary target, the wanton duke, is allowed to continue his lustful life. Instead, two fathers are upended, myself and Rigoletto, both are destroyed. The powerful remain vibrant, untouched, as always was, as always shall it be. Egliela morto, oh si, vorrei vederlo. Ma che importa, e ben desso, e quei suoi sproni. Ora mi guarda un mondo, questo è un bottone, ed un potente questo, e sta sotto ai miei piedi, e adesso ho giù. Al fine la tua vendetta al duolo si allonda lui sepolcro un sacco il suo lenzuolo allonda allonda
Gilda.
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for being here. Tonight was a very important evening. It marked the local debut of our new music director, Maestro Constantino Belli, and please give him a hand. Once again, we're thrilled to be here in Bryant Park. Uh, thank you to Bryant Park and to Dan Fishman and his staff. Please, if you can, text NYCO, N-Y-C-O, to 44321. Anything you could do to help us would be greatly appreciated. In the meantime, happy Labor Day. Thank you all very, very much. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you and gracias for joining us at Bryan Park Picnic Performances. If you brought a chair or table onto the grass, please return it to the nearby gravel surrounding the lawn. And please do not dump ice on the lawn. This helps our staff maintain the lawn for future performances. Learn more about our upcoming events at bryanpark.org and we hope to see you back in the park real soon.